Hey guys, today I will be filming a photo card storing video. I'm so excited for this because I feel like I waited so long to put these away, but um, the mail has been extra slow, so it's been um, longer waiting for cards to come. But we did save up quite a good amount of cards, so here's my pile right here. It's pretty thick, so I'm really, really excited to put those away. We'll bring out my shiny Super M and NCT binder. There's no shiny cards, but I have um, one Super M and all the rest are NCT. So we'll just go to the Super M section. I would have had more cards if I pulled more cards for Super M, but I just pulled one I didn't have already, which is the group card for the Korean version. It's right here. So I'm just going to take this Taman out of here and then put in the one group card at the end there. And, and then we'll put this, because that's not an album card. I will separate this by next video and then we're just going to put this here. <laughs> or, or here. That works. Just putting that there for now. I probably won't keep it there. It depends if I ever get more of these cards. But yeah, that's it for Super M. And then I will, of course, separate those cards by next video. And that's it for Super M. And then all the rest are NCT. These are the N and C version. And then we'll put the T version on a different page, I guess. Um, okay, so. All right, what do I have here? Yellow, yellow. Okay. Those ones are all the yellow cards. Yeah. Okay, and then these are my new additions for the orange ones. It fits perfectly. Oh, it looks so cute. I'm really glad I was able to fill this up. I still have more coming in the mail. And then we'll, oh shoot, I forgot to grab all my pages. Oh no, they're right here. We'll add another page for the Kino and also the T version. So I have these two. I have this one from the Kino and this one from the T version. So we'll do the T version first, I guess. I do have a Jan T in the mail because I bought two copies and I pulled Double Taeyong. So that is still coming in the mail. Unfortunately, didn't make it for this video. And... I have all my circle cards here. I'm kind of too lazy to put them away. <laughs> Oops, because I forgot to bring over my circle card binder, but I guess I'll just put them away off camera. But I have my NCT T versions, my I traded one of my Kuhn Take Over the Moon sequel cards for Yang Yang, and then I have these are two from my uh, Ticketmaster copies. So I'll just put those away on my own time. And then we have two wavy cards here, Hendry and Ten. I finally have this Hendry bag. I actually pulled it from my album, but I traded it because at the time I didn't think I was going to collect the wavy cards because I thought they'd be hard <laughs> to collect. So I traded for my bias, but um, I got it back. So that's great. So we'll just put him here. I do have, um, I actually do have the set complete finally. I'm waiting for Win Win. I do have a trade lined up with someone for Win Win. And um, Lucas, I just recently traded. Yeah, those are the only two I'm missing, which are these two spots. <laughs> so that's so exciting that I finally completed that. And lastly, I finally have this 10 card I traded for. I had a double coon, so I luckily traded that. Awesome, now Take Over the Moon is complete. I just need to complete the sequel for Wavy, which I'm very much far behind, but that's okay, I will take my time. And that is it for this binder. Next, we have my EXO and Red Velvet binder. Here's my pile for this. Really, really excited. This is definitely like my favorite binder, I'd say, but it's so full. Either EXO is gonna have to be in a binder on their own, or this is gonna have to move to either a three or four inch binder. <laughs> because I have so many cards. So for Exodus Chinese, I do have this Chen, which was gifted to me. So exciting. Oh, I'm so happy to have that. Thank you so much. Just goes in the middle. Super exciting. So that's that. And I have Chen's solo card, the last one I needed for Dear My Dear. Here we go. And there's one spot for it.
perfect so I have the set complete for him um, for his Korean albums I just don't have I don't have any of the keynotes from his first mini because I didn't get it and it's out of print <laughs> and then I'm missing the other kino for his second mini um, I do really want to get it but I'm not it's not a very high priority for me but I do eventually want to get that so and then we have all of my Suo solo cards I'm so excited so I have the kino here and then the regular album cards here we will have to add his own page, I guess. He can go after these guys. I guess I'll do the... Mm, yeah, I guess I'll do the regular cards first. And then the special cards, which are so pretty. Especially the backs. Oh, and then we'll add the Kino at the end here. So pretty, so pretty. Oh, I just love his cards. Look how pretty the backs are. I'm obsessed. And lastly, for EXO, I have this Kai countdown card, which I traded for. As you may know, I am starting to um, more deeply collect their Japanese cards. So exciting. I'm just missing... Baekhyun and Schumann because Lei wasn't a part of that comeback so yes and lastly for this binder we have my red velvet cards just two here I was missing Irene's limited summer magic for the longest time and I thought I had traded for it but I guess I didn't because I just never received it so I had to go and buy that and I finally have it in my hands finally why aren't you focusing feels so nice to finally complete that. It's like one of my favorite cards of hers. I don't know, it's so cute. <laughs> it looks adorable. All right, so that is that. And then we have this Silgi card from Finale, which I traded for. My first Silgi card from this whole set. So exciting. One spot for her, and we'll have to separate that later, because right now they're all in here random, like <laughs> the scrapbook and the Finale versions, they're all in here random and they're not even in age order or anything, it's just all mixed up, so since I did fill the page here, I'll separate them later and make sure to have their own spots and everything. And that's it for this binder. Next is my Stray Kids and Monsta X binder. So I have a couple for this binder. We'll start off with Stray Kids. Oh, here we go. I have this Sumin, so this completed the gray border set for me. So exciting, oh my gosh. I also did trade for the um, fan-made Wujin cards. <laughs> I traded one of my extra Stray Kids cards for the set of those, so those are still coming in the mail and I'm super excited to be able to um, have a like place for him, like a, car a fake card to put him in there. Um, I was actually thinking of just leaving the front space blank because he actually is the oldest of Stray Kids. I always just had Chan in the first spot because he's the leader, but um, yeah, I was thinking of just like leaving the front space blank and then starting them from here. Yeah, because I mean that's technically right in age order anyways, but um, we'll do that later. And I have no blue cards. I did trade for the remaining members though, the Felix and Sigmund, so those are still in the mail. And I completed the set for this one these two right here oh my gosh yes so exciting this is so satisfying just completing this it would look even more satisfying if there was an actual member to put here <laughs> but as i said i did trade for the fan made widgeon cards so those are still coming in the mail and oh my god look how like satisfying i already have this completed just waiting for those to come in the mail awesome awesome so that's that. And then the last cards I have are these Changyun cards for Monsta X, which I traded for. Um, yes, so this one here, the clan part two, goes here. So yeah, I'm missing his two rush cards, but I am planning on getting those very soon. And I finally have his Shine Forever, the one I was missing. I am still missing his other selfie version from the code, but we're taking our time. We're taking our time. <laughs> I don't mind being slow. Oh, I'm missing a lot here. <laughs> but yeah, that's actually it for this binder. Next is this binder. So here are the cards for this, just AB6 and 17. 
So we'll start off with AB6. Oh, by the way, I did sort AB6 a different way. I used to have like a bunch of cards on here, but now I'm just doing them like kind of how I do it with shiny. So group the rest of the members and then just white papers at the bottom. I have not filled them with white papers though, as you can see. And then for here, I'm doing it a little bit differently though, since each member has three cards per version. I'm doing it like old, I still do oldest to youngest. So Youngmin, his three cards for the red version, then Wung's three cards, then Donghyun's three cards, you know? Um, so we have like that. It's for the red version first, then Woojin and Dewi, and then um, I'm missing a lot. And then I put the little scratch cards here at the bottom for the red version, and then it starts here with the orange. So then Youngmin, Wung, Donghyun, you know what I mean? So I kind of did it like that. I didn't fill it with white papers yet because I was too lazy to cut them up. But yeah, so um, we have this Wung to add, and where is it? Where is it? Oh, and this Dewi to add. So. Um, one's from orange, one's from red. So, oh, no, too far. Here we go. So we'll just add that daily right there. Awesome. It's slowly coming together. And then the wound will add that here. So I have the orange wound set complete. Yeah, so I also have the daily orange set complete. And then I just have like all of my random group cards over here. <laughs> I mean, this is fake, but all the rest is official. So yeah, that's, I don't know. We're, we're still like figuring things out with that. And then all the rest are 17 cards. I actually completed a lot of sets. Going 17 is one of them. This Vernon completed my entire Vernon collection. These two completed my Going 17 set, like with this, I guess. So we can take my S Coops and Sungwan placeholders out. <laughs> These are ones I, sorry, no, I pulled this one from my album, and then this one I had bought at the time when I thought I was going to collect all 13 members. There we go, now this is fully complete, that's so exciting. And then I traded one of my extra unit cards for the uh, Joshua and S. Coops unit card, because uh, Joshua's in it, so I need it. <laughs> oh, I also have an extra Hoshi there too. These are all the unit cards I have completed. I actually low-key want to collect all of the unit cards, so I might do that. Um, I don't know why this Hoshi is there. Maybe I'll just take him out and add him with my S Coops and Sungwan. I low-key kind of keep my extra members in case I ever wanted to collect all of the members again, but definitely won't be doing that at the moment. And I finally have my Joshua Lenticular. I know I have Wanus. Wait, he's right here. But I'm going to keep his in case I ever collect his cards. So we'll add him there, and then we'll just add Wanu at the bottom. I usually tend to keep Wanu cards because I do really want to collect his cards, but that might be really annoying. But it's still in the back of my mind that I might collect him, so I'm just going to keep his Lenticular. And I have one in Ode card, which is this Joshua that I was missing. At least I think I was missing this. It was gifted to me, so let's see if I actually did need it or not. Here we go. Yes, 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 I did need it. It's this one right here. Oh, that is so exciting. It's a little bit hard for me to buy photo cards on eBay at the moment because either nothing's available or the sellers just totally bring up the shipping price and it's way too expensive. So I have to like hold out on buying cards for now, which kind of sucks because I'm so close to completing my Ode collection, but it is what it is. Anyways, that's it for this binder. Oh, and also my Fallen Flower albums did ship and they did arrive in my, like, province. Um, like, they are here, but I have a feeling they're not going to make it to me for a long time because they did ship via EMS. And I just, they've been sitting at the border security for weeks. Um, same with my 17 Japanese albums. They've been sitting with the border security since, like, mid-March. I don't think they're moving and that really, really sucks. So that's an update on that. I'm super sad about it. I don't know how else to get them to me. Next we have my other boy groups binder, which has a Kuhn fan sign on it. Let's ignore that. <laughs> Did I move my camera? I'm sorry. Okay, so just these, 1S and ATs. That ATs MMT card was a gift. Ooh, what's moving over here? <laughs> so yeah, that was a gift. Where do we add that? Okay, we can just, uh, uh, you know what, we'll take out this fan-made card and then add that here. 
There we go. That works. I just used the fan made card over there to like fill the space, but um, I guess we can put that here or something, the fan made one. All right. So that's that. It's super cute. I really like the MMT cards. I never bought through MMT because I heard they're slow at shipping, but the cards are worth it, honestly, because look how cute this is. <laughs> and then lastly, we have my one is cards from a song written easily, or sorry, In It's Time. That was the album name. Oh, yes, it fits perfectly. Oh, that fits perfectly. Oh, that fits so good. And then that's their photo book card. So it goes their album cards and then the photo book card and then to their bigger cards. Oh, that fits perfectly. All right, that's it for this binder. And very lastly, we have my other girl grips binder minus red velvet. So, which is all of the rest of the cards. I got gifted some more Etsy cards and that's kind of exciting. I received my dream catcher trade right here so we can put that away. We'll have to add that in with the selfie card since I sorted them that way. These are in no specific order, by the way, when it comes to age. They're in there random, but I sorted them, though, with the style of photo card that they are, like selfie, them posing behind the brick wall, you know, so. But I did not think about age at all, and I don't really care to have them in age order, so that's just, that's that. <laughs> and then we'll add this one at the end. Alright, so I did not fill this with white papers, but I'm too lazy to. You know, we have a lot, so maybe we can do that. <laughs> There we go. And what else we got? Oh, I didn't fill this with white papers either. I'm too lazy to do that. <laughs> also, um, I did trade my Iran postcard for EU, so if anyone is interested in this Xi'an, let me know, because I have two of each. I do have a Taeon card for something new, but it don't fit. I mean, there's a spot right here. You know, I will sort them later, because someone gifted me this Taeon card. We're just going to add her here at the end of the Taeon cards, but I'll need to fix it and add her properly with the other something new card but for now we're just gonna stick her there and my idol cards we can add in so we'll just um i like to do like small cards and then big cards my idol cards do seem like they would fit in the nine pocket pages so we'll do that we'll do the small cards first i mean there's only small cards but you know what i mean like i do small cards and then their big cards come later we'll do the lenticular first i like to have the lenticulars near the the side because they're heavy <laughs> i'll have to grab one of my clear things to put this in hopefully it will fit in one of those there we go maybe i'll just go grab them right now i grabbed them right here let's see if it'll fit It's very tight it fits but it's like super tight oh my god it's super super tight oh but I think it's okay <laughs> that was so hard to put in I don't know that was really really hard <laughs> okay it looks really nice on the the white background now you can see it more clear anyways I love how I pulled like all of the white concept except for this one that's the idol cards and then we have itsy so i do have one more where is it where's my pile oh it's right here i have one more it's icy card which is this Dujin. yeah maybe i'll just add them here and then take the iu cards out I know they're not in age order. I don't really plan on having them in age order at the moment. I'll fix it later, but just letting you know. Okay, so we have some It's Me cards. Oh, 
I put them back to back just for now because I'm too lazy to add another page. Um, and this one is still up for trade, by the way, for one I don't have. I could add, you know, I'm just going to add IU here at the end. I'm actually going to have her at the top, but I'm going to switch that out later, not on camera. All right, um, that is actually everything. So we're going to close this up. Oh no, hold on. I forgot about the bookmark. Where am I putting that? You know, we can slide her in here. That works out. <laughs> we'll slide her in there with the Sunmi bookmark. Anyways, all right, so that's it for this binder. So that was my storing photo cards video for this time. I hope you enjoyed and thank you so much for watching. Bye.